Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have a couple of uh, suaves in front of me, uh, both supermarket owned labels, and um, let's just dig in and see where we get to with them. Uh, first one is uh, from, uh, from MS, is it? Yeah, MS uh, uh, Suave ca from Cantina di Monte Forte, uh, Suave Classico. Uh, so it comes from the heartland of, uh, they're both Suave Classico, uh, the heartland of the, of the Suave region, um, made from, I think, well, it doesn't say anything apart from uh, the main grape, Garganica. Sometimes you have a few others in there, but uh, this one sounds like 100% Garganica. Uh, let's give it a whirl. Gentle, peachy, nutty. Um, it, it, now this is we, I'm, I'm tasting this uh, in May 2016, and this is a 2014 vintage. I think they're both 2014 vintages. Oh no, this is 2015. Uh, I was going to say um, it, it smells it smells quite young and fresh, um, but uh, it, it is younger and fresher. It's the other one that's a, a 2014. Um, so. Um, Yes, it, it, there's a young, fresh, a bit of almond, a bit of peachiness, um, and uh, I think it almost feels like it needs, uh, it still it needs, it's still doing a summer uncurling. Um, it smells good, uh, and I think I'm, I'm going to be en enjoying it, but I, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to be bowled away by it. Soft, gentle, friendly style. Um, nothing to co really complain about, nothing wrong with it, uh, but at the same time, nothing to jump up and down and go, oh, that's wonderful. It's... It's okay, you drink a glass, the sort of wine that you'd happily drink a glass of, but uh, maybe not be too concerned to find out what it was. It's okay. Let's see whether the Sainsbridge one um, can be a step up on that. Um, and um, uh, so, it, it, I mean, it's from a different winery. This is Casa Vinicola Sartori. Um, and um, it differences, uh, does it say anything? Yes, again, Garganica. Um, slightly lower alcohol was the first one, 12.5%. Uh, this is 12 um, and uh, but it's a year older, so let's see uh, whether it's uh, it's better or worse. All the same. Well, I, <laughs> I have to say it doesn't smell of all that much. Um, if it, if I do notice a difference with the, with the first one, uh, you probably can't tell from this. Um, the first one has got a slightly green tinge to it. This has got more of a a, a golden yellow tinge, and uh, so that which is what's what would happen to a wine like this as it uh, as it uh, gets older. Uh, I notice here a slightly more nutty developed character, maybe less on the fresh fruit that was in the first one, more on that nutty side. And with that nuttiness has come a little bit of uh, more weight. Um, it's funny because there's, a, I, there's a, a nice pine, almost fennel scented character there, but then the fruit's gone slightly jelly-like. Uh, I would like that slightly pine-like fragrance of the second one uh, with the fruit freshness of the first one. I mean, they're both okay, but as I said with the first one, the sort of wines that you'd uh, drink a glass of and uh, then maybe look for a glass of something else next time around. Hey, see you soon.